Alrighty, looks like we're uh, we're live. Yep, 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 yep. Alrighty, looks like we're uh, we're live. My quality is okay. Video quality okay. Yeah, all right. I'm just gonna give a couple of minutes and just wait for people to uh, pop in, and uh, then we'll get started. Just gonna check my Twitter super quick because I mentioned that I was streaming on Twitter. So we're, you know, it's always good to check. Hey, hey, Swiggity Scorpion. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. We got three viewers. Uh, yeah. Hello. Welcome. Uh, we're just going to start in uh, just a couple of seconds here. I'm just waiting for, you know, people to come in. Yeah. Um, for the people who are already here, feel free to, uh, you know, just say what you want to say <laughs> and ask any questions. Uh, you know, I'm really open to just about anything. Hey, Natalia. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Alright, we have three viewers. I think we'll give it another 30 seconds and then we'll get started. Just check in on uh, the video. You guys can hear me. The sound quality is good because on my end it, it's, um, it's just fine. But uh, just type butts in the chat if everything's like good. <laughs> okay good we got some butts in the chat <laughs> alrighty cool cool and uh ooh we got a new subscriber thank you for uh subscribing I'm gonna I would pronounce it pronounce your name but I feel like I'm gonna butcher it but I'll try anyway uh sh Shira Foji? Shira Foji? Is that is that even close? <laughs> Either way, uh welcome to the stream and uh thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Alrighty, uh we have four viewers now and you know we've got uh we've got it going, so we're we're gonna start. Um so I'm starting on the second mission for SPV3. Uh for the people who don't know, um SPV3 stands for single player version three. Um it is a fan-made mod of the um first Halo game. Well, Halo C E, which is Halo Combat Evolved. It's uh on PC and uh, you know, it's free to download. It's uh it's pretty good. It's essentially the um Halo custom edition built from the ground up from the community. Uh, it's got new weapons, new enemies, and uh, new music, all that jazz. It's been rebuilt from the ground up, essentially. Um, it's a fun game. I've played it, I think I've beaten it twice now. Um, yeah. And uh, we're just going to go right into it. So um, the reason I'm starting on the second mission is just because of uh, I've beaten the first mission before and I had it on YouTube, the first level, so we're just going to hop into the second mission. Let me know if the sound quality is uh, um, in games any good, because uh, I think it might be a little quiet for you guys, so I'll be happy to turn it up and adjust it accordingly. So for the people who uh, who don't know what happens in the first Halo game, we just recently um, escaped from the Pillar of Autumn, which is a human ship, after uh, an attack <laughs> from uh, the Covenant. <laughs> Speak of the devil. 
I disabled the lifeboat's signal beacon to throw off Covenant's search team. Mm. Other lifeboats probably made it down too. We should search for survivors. Just gonna pause super quick. Sorry to take you guys out of the uh, thing. Yeah, it's the. Uh... Just gonna pause super quick. Sorry to. Can you guys hear the in-game sound at all, by any chance? Or is it just completely muted for you guys? Because I could totally turn that up if that is uh, if that's needed. I still gotta download the, this game on PC. It's my, on my old laptop that needs a new battery. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm just going to turn up SPV3 a little bit. There we go. Should be a bit louder. Quite a bit louder, actually. Might actually destroy my eardrums. We'll see. <laughs> It'll destroy my eardrums before it destroys yours, so... Okay, now that's relatively loud on my end, but it's good. Why did I throw a grenade? Gotcha. Alright. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Look at my little man. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. If I do um, suddenly pause, it's just because I'm checking chat. Uh, 1v1v1, my friend, right now. Okay. So yeah, the audio the audio quality is good now and all that. Because <laughs> it's a bit hard to tell on my end, because uh, when I'm streaming it has a weird, like, audio bias. Versus, like, what I actually hear. So, um, for people who are wondering, I'm playing on Heroic right now. So. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to have the stream in a separate uh, thing here so I don't have to pause as often. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. There it is! Alright, here we go. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Firing. Let me just suggest something super quick here. Okay. I thought we were in real trouble. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over this valley. Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. Hey, I think I know you. Uh, you might. You might. Um, it's possible. Is this a Q and A or just a normal stream? Uh, it's it's a bit of both. It doesn't really matter. I'll I'll kind of like answer questions as I go. Like I'll be uh, I'm more than happy to answer people's questions if they have any. Ooh, that's. That's a bunch of elites that I don't want to deal with. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Now that's progress. 
Oh, I love gravity grenades. They're so useful. Wow, I am just getting destroyed, and I died. <laughs> oh well, it happens. That's uh, that's heroic difficulty for you. Now, for uh, people who haven't played SPV3, there isn't uh, actually an easy difficulty in this. They've removed it and replaced it. Um, so, like, there's normal, heroic, legendary, and I believe it's... Uh, it's either mythic or noble difficulty, which just basically is, like, uh, insane. It's a little bit different of a game mode. Like, it's not just harder. There's, like, a little bit more to it. If I'm not mistaken, the the AI is like slightly better. The enemies are stronger, but there's less of them, like slightly less of them. But it is, in my opinion, it's still harder than um, legendary. But I could totally be wrong because I've only tried it once, and I just remember being absolutely destroyed by like a small pack of grunts. <laughs> Yeah, noble difficulty. I feel like it would have made more sense for it to be mythic difficulty, though, just because of how, you know, because Halo. <laughs> like, I understand it's noble, like, noble team, but... Ye. Um... But then again, there's a mythic skull in Halo, so... Alright, alright, alright. You know, for somebody who's beaten, like, the Halo franchise on Legendary and Lasso, like, a bajillion million times, I am just not good at this. <laughs> I'm rusty. I don't know why I'm shooting at jackals with a uh, with an assault rifle. That's very dumb of me. There we go. That's how you do it. There we go. All right. I'm gonna switch out for a needler. Actually, there we go. All right. I believe they're coming over here. We'll have to see. Yep. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go hide with the uh, marines, I think. That'd be smart. Mythic sounds so much better, though. Yeah, it, I don't know. Mythic, like, as a difficulty, just sounds more intimidating. And it makes sense, because it's, like, you know, heroic, and then legendary, and then mythic, you know? And I mean, that's what they do for the bosses in uh, Halo 5, so... Like, legendary bosses, and then mythic bosses, so... Oh, boy! And music's blasting. Music's pumping, boys. This is it. Oh, I love this mod so much. Ooh, we got some brutes. Wow, okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's 
that's uh, that's more brutes than I expected. I thought there was only like two, maybe three, but there's like six there. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, so, um, we do have some people that are watching that aren't, uh, really in the know for Halo as a franchise. They're very new. I, I'm, I'm not naming names, but there's somebody who's quite, uh, quite new to the Halo franchise, uh. So, just for, just for reference, we're actually not on a planet right now. We're on, um, we're on a Halo ring. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's not repeat my mistakes from last time. Jeez, these guys are like... They're after me! <laughs> like, they're really... Wow, okay, I'm, I'm a little pinned. Alright, whew, that was close. More needler rounds, yay. <laughs> Skirmishers, come on, man. <laughs> Um, somebody, okay, <laughs> I, I got a message, uh, from somebody that's watching the stream that doesn't really know a whole lot about the Halo, um, the Halo franchise. So, essentially, a Halo ring, um, is based on my very... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'm just gonna terribly explain a Halo ring in a few minutes, um, basically, they're made by the Forerunners, and, um, the reason, the way that they have, like, gravity and stuff is because they rotate. They, that's how they, uh, have gravity, and all that. And the way that they have vegetation is, it was just, I'm assuming it was just grown, and that's how there's, like, wildlife and stuff. Oof. Okay, there we go. Are those blind wolves mad at me? No, they're not. Okay. But yeah, no. Um, Halo rings were basically... Uh... Oof. I, I get distracted way too easily. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, essentially, a uh, very brief lore for Halo rings. Halos are giant super weapons that uh, have the potential to destroy all sentient life in the galaxy. It was um, it was built by the Forerunners during the uh, Forerunner Flood War, because um, yeah, <laughs> that's one of their one of the things that they built during the war. But there's a bunch of other things that they built during the war. Cough, cough. Halo Four. Tee hee. But yeah, that's basically a Halo ring. But they also built other stuff on the Halo rings. <laughs> like, very nice vegetation and very nice landscapes. It wasn't just a gun. <laughs> it wasn't just a big space gun. It was also a very nice place to play a video game. <laughs> I would actually do, like, a lore stream, but... <laughs> I think... I think I'll pass. <laughs> I'm just doing this very casually. One thing that I wish SPV3 had was multiplayer. That's all. That is it. It's uh, it's like apart from that, it's perfect for a fan um for a fan mod. Come on. 
Ow. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I agree with that. Hang on. I, I gotta be reading chat more, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, um... I'll be sure to say people's usernames, um... Well, at least I'll try to, so people know who I'm talking to. Alright. There we go. Easy. Um. Alright, just gotta quickly check chat here. Yeah, uh, um... Swiggity Scorpion, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, they're going back to a Halo ring in Halo Infinite. It's really good. I think, uh, I, I kind of feel like um, Halo Infinite is going to be sort of a bit like um, Halo 3 and Halo CE. In the sense that it's like, the, the UNSC are on their backs again. Like, they're kind of pushed into a spot where they're not the good guy. Well, not in a good spot. <laughs> Yay, light bridge. Yay, unskippable cutscene. No, um, but yeah. I feel like Halo Infinite is going to be reminiscent of, um, of Halo 3 and Halo 1. Halo 1 mostly, just because uh, I feel like it's going to start out kind of similarly, where humanity is once again kind of the underdogs, and they're not, you know, doing so great. So that's good, I think that. And, and it takes place on a Halo ring, and you're linking up with UNSC forces. I just, I just feel like that's what's going to happen. I've just got a hunch. Either way, I'm excited, though. There's new traffic on the Covenant Battle Network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. You guys can uh, hear like the music and stuff, can ya? Same thing for like uh, characters talking. Wait a minute. I'm reading Marine IFF transponders. They'll need your help. Oof. Now this is one of the, the areas that were added in the mods, so that's pretty cool. Like, completely from the ground up, so. I like this area. I wish it was in the uh, original Halo game. Because it's pretty fun. I like it. I like it a lot. I play very aggressively with Warthogs. I just like to run everything over. Get out of here. Alright. Hmm. Oh, 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 is that a blind wolf? Is he is he angry? Is it yeah. Don't 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 eat me. Don't I'm not in the mood. Not right now. Oof. Look at him. Look at him. They're just they're just watching. Alright. And yes, blind wolves do actually attack you if you shoot one too many of them or one too many just get shot. Alright. Just looking for ammo around here if that's a possibility. Also, the guy who does the music, oh, great stuff. Oh, here we go, ammo. Not so fortunate, these individuals. I mean, that's the brutes for you. Wow, look at this just giant pack of blind wolves, goodness. I wish, oh, wow. Not so fortunate. <laughs> oh my gosh, skirmisher, get out of here. There we go, yeah. Like, I know these guys are in the books, but I wish they were in the games a little more often. Well, actually, they're in none of the games. They're just in this one, but this is a fan mod, so... You better you better come out of the books and be in the games. Alright, see ya. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna get in the Warthog. But first... Let me just get, get
get these guys out of the turrets. There we go. Let's see if that actually hits. Nope, okay. Hang on. I got a good throwing arm, I promise. I, uh... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I just hit the tree with my grenade. I... I can't. I, f I physically cannot... Alright. Alright, boys, let's get back in this, uh, Warthog. Oof! Also, if I'm not mistaken, the Warthog sitting in it actually gener regenerates your, uh, your health. I don't know if that's... I feel like that was a thing at some point, but I can't remember... I don't know. Something or other. Not like all the... I don't know. <laughs> I could be completely wrong, but I just feel like it's... I've heard... I've seen it somewhere. Or at least it was, like, in the beta version or whatever. Wow, that's a powerful, that's a powerful, uh, brute shot there. Back in the Warthog. In the Chupa thingy, for those who watch, uh, Red vs. Blue. <laughs> yeah, eat the blind wolf, they're tasty. Also, whoops, I was reading chat and I, this was a bad time. <laughs> Honestly? Aw. Oh, there's still another marine alive. Jeez. I like how they, uh, for Katana's voice lines, they use, um... Like her Halo 2 voice lines as well. It, it comes off as a little weird if you're like, oh, rest in peace, I should have kept moving. But anyway, um, it comes off as a little jarring because as somebody who's beaten, as somebody who's beaten like Halo a, a bajillion million times, it's like, I know that's from Halo 2. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. It's so engraved in, in my brain that it's like, when I hear it, just is weird, because it's like, this is not Halo 2. What, um, what's, what's going on? Well, that was, Alright, I believe that is all the Marines rescued in this area. It's a Puma, yeah. <laughs> Another Red vs. Blue reference. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are now Warthogless. <laughs> Warthogless. Um... Look at all these poor marines. Well, there's more, but there's two right here. But, uh, all these poor marines. Sad. Truly sad. Oh, no, wait. She said one more group of marines to go, chief. They're over here. That is right. All of the Red versus book. Oh my, oh my, okay. <laughs> uh, who shot the blind wolf? Come on now, be honest. Now, jeez, oh. who shot the blind wolf? They're angry now. It's just, I'm just worried that a whole pack of them are gonna come now and like kill us all. I'm really not looking forward to that. I'm, I'm so terrified now. Those blind wolves like eat you alive so fast. Oh, the Marines did a good job. I was, I was too busy being scared of the blind wolves. I'm, I'm actually going to go check out and see where they are. There was like a bajillion million over there, so I don't know what's what's going on, but... I don't want to I don't want to stay around and find out. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Pelican. I know my Halo sounds. Hmm. It's not, uh, not the best. But yeah, you guys can hear, like, the uh, characters talking in-game, yeah? 
Because I feel like my voice overpowers the actual game a little bit too much. I don't know if that's true, but let me know. Oof. Oh, dude, this is like one of my favorite spots in this mission. Just like the, the wraiths invading the base. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, let's just let's rescue those marines. Get them out of that base that's being absolutely riggedy wrecked by those, like, wraiths down there. XD, speak of the devil, they're going to shoot us if we don't keep moving. Okay, so kind of. Is that is that kind of as in like my voice is kind of overpowering it or Or is it kind of as in like my it's okay? <laughs> Punch it. Here. Ooh, two wraiths, boys, two wraiths. Better be careful. Well, I mean, there's more than two wraiths, but just two wraiths in my vicinity. Alright. There we go. Oof. We're just blasting through them, boys. Oh, come on, take the shot! <laughs> there we go. No! <laughs> No! No! Oh no! Oh no! He was two days from retirement. Okay, well now I'm out. Wow, okay, I almost got shot again. Now I'm out in the open. Ooh, what is this? Oh, Gossog! Yes, 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 yes. Gossog, Gossog, Gossog. Alright, let's go find some Marines to ride in this Gossog, I guess. Alright, I gotta be careful. We, uh, we can get shot if we're not careful. These... The SPV-3 Wraiths are a lot more accurate than, like, the regular Wraiths in Halo 1. If it was Halo 1, I would not be concerned, but this is SPV-3. They're a little bit more, uh, a little bit more dangerous and accurate. And they can, like, shell you through freaking like, over walls and cliffs and stuff. They're very accurate. <laughs> They're more artillery in this game than they are actually tanks, but that's okay. Makes them, uh, a little stronger. And boarding them is like an absolute chore, so they're not they're not push over. Alright. I love how they say the LZ is still clear, but it's like there's still a wraith down here. <laughs> oh wow, okay, that was a little bit of kickback. Hmm. Okay, let's go check out the area. It said inbound inbound phantoms. Oh, there we go. Like zoinks. Yeah, wraiths on legendary do tend to be pretty accurate. SPV three is pretty damn fun. Like it, 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 um, like I wouldn't recommend you play it if it's your first Halo game. I just, I just wouldn't because you know it's not like the authentic Halo experience. But I do recommend you play it after playing a few Halo games. Um, that's just my opinion, though. Some people do say, you know, play it as your first Halo game, but eh, I'm, I'm kind of iffy about the whole thing. Alright, boys, we're an Alpha Beast. <laughs> and now we're leaving it again, because I, I forgot to take down that, uh, that Phantom. I don't know what it's dropping, but it's dropping something. Want some more? 
who? Why would they drop skirmishers in a in a battle with vehicles? <laughs> why would they drop like fast and weak infantry? Well, I mean, supporting tanks with infantry, sure, but eh. Alrighty. Ooh, alrighty. I think this area is clear now. I don't uh, think we're done in this area. Nope, there's still another phantom. Goodness. And it looks like they're landing on top of us. Yeah, they're dropping their boys right on top of us. I'm actually very curious, um, that one character that speaks in, in this, um, I wonder if she's, uh, like, I wonder if she's an, uh, a cut voice actor from, you know, like, left over in the game files, or is she a voice actor that was, like, hired during SPV3 development, and they were like, okay, we need a, we need a female character to, to issue extra orders. Alright, gotta go help out Alpha Base boys. Time to rescue Alpha Base. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Okay, what an entrance. Ooh, frag grenade, watch out. Ooh. I should have gotten a, um, literally any other gun than the ones that I currently have right now. Literally any other gun. Oh, oh, oh! I don't, I don't like the looks of this. Hi, how are you? Well, that's cool. I didn't realize the uh, the jackal rangers and the jackal snipers had different head heads up display things. <clears throat> yeah, if I ever stop, like, randomly, uh, it's just because I'm checking shot. I believe we go through here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh yeah, I remember this really threw me off seeing this elevator in like the second mission. Like not in a bad way. It was like, wow, okay, they're really utilizing um game assets and doing a good job. Okay, this is it. So there's an anti-air wraith right there. I'm just gonna No, no, wait, no. We can talk. We can talk about this. We, we can talk about this. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to uh, sneak and see if I could get the uh, get the wraith. I'm gonna see if I can hijack that wraith and like steal it and use it against them. I'm gonna be a very sneaky boy. Sneaky boy. Also, one thing that I want to see. Anti. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want uh next one thing I want to see in like newer Halo games is the um, anti air wraith. Definitely, I love how they added it in Halo Five. That was good. I feel like it should be a little stronger against air units though, especially because like air units kind of plague the war zone uh, a little bit. Okay. If you can board and capture that anti air race, we can use it to shoot down any more incoming dropships. Bradley. Yeah, 
I'm taking this wraith. No. <laughs> Why? You're kidding me. Ah, oh, so close. All right, one more time. Cause that's uh, that sucks. Hooey, all right, let's give this another go. <laughs> The only problem is honestly, oh my gosh, that anti-air wraith it uses its own guns against me. Jeez. Oh, okay, good. The, there was a checkpoint. I'm I'm taking this. I'm taking this couch. All right, there we go. We got the entire wraith. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody around. Now let's turn to this guy's. Okay, maybe let's wait for him to get a little closer. There we go. Get out of ye! Get out of town! Wow, this gun overheats really fast. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please, no, please stop overheating! No, I just want to shoot. St this guy. There, there we go. That took. That took a while. Jeez. Yeah, this, uh, this entire wraith, uh, overheats quite quickly. There we go. And that is the end of that. Alrighty. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks about right. Wow, big area. Has that door open yet? No, it hasn't. Big area, goodness. Uh, okay, I saw a marker where, uh, <laughs> whereabouts. Oh, okay, I do actually have to press this, and then I'm assuming that opens. Yes, it does. Okay, fantastic. I just wish I could take this wreath with me. Thanks, Katana. Starting our approach. Ooh, let's be a spicy daredevil. Okay. Look at my little man. Okay, so that that looks like a new um new warthog for me. I'm just gonna take one of the goss hogs though. Oh my gosh, they, did they drop those marines from that height? Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking goodness. Wow, there's a lot of marines around here. Oh my gosh, they actually did drop the marines from that height. Wow, he's taller than I thought, and better looking. Thanks, buddy. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna take this gossog. It's got, got a couple of dings and bangs, but you know what? I don't really care. It's a gossog. It's, it, it speaks for itself. Or gauss hog, depending on 
I like to say Goss just because I like triggering people. <laughs> oh my Goss. That, that as well. So I can make that really terrible pun. Wow, okay, I, uh... I think the I think the goshog has been uh, having some trouble there. <laughs> All right, get on, boys! Come on! There we go. Just checking chat again. Um, do I like Halo CE or SPV3? Whew, that's a good question. Um, oh, it's really difficult because it's like. Halo Halo CE is Halo CE, and that's like a major classic. I don't I don't think I could replace it. Um, but like, if I had to choose like right now to play, I'd just choose SPV3 just because I've played CE so many times. Like, it's still a classic, of course, but it's like, you know, this is more newer, and it and it kind of fills the same void. Like, if you're craving. Halo, CE, PC, you can still play this and have a similar void filling effect. Oh, yeah, it's just a data pad. <sighs> Pardon my yawning. Lifeboat detected. No sign of survivors. <laughs> oh, lifeboat's total, sir. There are supplies and weapons all over the place, but I can't find any bodies. Maybe somebody made it out of here alive. Hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh... I've, n I've never really felt like Sprint in SPV3 has been that useful. Because it's like, 90% of the stuff is built around not having Sprint, so the addition of Sprint, I, I, I don't think is that. Like, I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, Sprint shouldn't be in Halo, but in SPV3 it just doesn't really fit well. Like, if it's better, then... Like regular CE, but like the only time that I would genuinely need sprint is like to run away. That's it. <laughs> and at that point, it's like why, why would you, you know, not and then like nine times, nine times out of ten, when you're trying to run, you're gonna die anyway. So it's like, eh. And then you could switch. You could have like health regen instead, where you where you don't ever really need med packs. You just kind of regenerate health. So, I don't know. Well, that's daring, Henry. Well, I I took the bet and I lost. I I took the bet and I lost. Wow, it sends you back quite a ways. Goodness. All right, I'll keep that in mind, not to be stupid next time. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I remember that was like um, a thing with SPV3. Um, some of the areas, like I know this is um, a regular CE problem, but this is also an SPV3. It's just kind of on that topic. Um, SPV3 sometimes in some areas has like really long times in between checkpoints. So, like uh, I remember there's this one like Canyon. That potentially could take like 15 minutes on uh, harder difficulties, like on Legendary and Noble. You spend like 15 minutes clearing out the enemies, trying to not die. And then if you die, you have to restart the whole canyon run all over again, so... Yeah, it's a bit... Oh, Henry, what are you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, there we go. Look at that checkpoint. <laughs> There it is. Let's do it. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <sighs> I'm usually really good at this, I swear. <laughs> I'm, usually <laughs> I'm usually very good at cliff running in this. Emphasis on the usually. Oh, we lost our, uh, our gunner. Troubling times. There we go. Get out of there. I need you to get on the gun. Please and th please and thank you. Oof. All right. Let's not die this time. There's like a lot of enemies in this area. Quick, up the cliff, up the mountain. <laughs> oh, that's a ve ah, that's burning my eyes. That is, oh my gosh, that is so bright on my end. Oh my gosh, that was like eye burning. And yes, this is a thing you can actually do in uh, in Halo CE. I learned this way back in the day, and then. Uh, it's super useful in SPV3 because you have all these ranged weapons. Right on. But th but they don't work half of the time, do they? No, no, they don't. Oh my gosh, that's blinding. Like I like I like how it's got like the the glare thing. That's cool when you look at the sun, but it's like oof, that's blinding. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. All right. Oh, this is not gonna land. Yeah, yep. <laughs> oh. My my stupid decisions are gonna result in dire consequence. Ah, there we go. Brute Shot is so powerful. Like, I mean, it's not a super common weapon, so it's pretty understandable, but... Hey, guys. Oof. Someone, someone's having a bad day, let me tell you. Wow. Wow. Oh, careful now. Oof. Oh. Oof. Alright. Oof. Spicy. Just quickly check and chat again. Alrighty. Oof. I don't like the looks of that. Maybe, maybe I should, um, move my Warthog a little bit. There we go. Okay, no, that's... <laughs> that's not much better. But I'll work with it. That's very weird. There's, like, um... 
with this particular warthog, the the gun has like a one second delay. Oof, I like this gun as well. Um, okay, so uh, did they did they leave? Did they get the pickup already, or is there still coming in around? I'm assuming that there's still coming in around. So we'll go have a little peek here and there. Oh. Okay, it looks like everybody's gone. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. Oh, okay. Never mind. I take that back. I just heard a brute. Alright, that's where they're landing. Let's we'll get the boy out of here. I'm assuming there's just one guy left. I'm usually very good at this, I promise. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Oh boy. Oh wow, yeah, there literally was only one guy left. Whoops. Eh, I guess we'll drive the Warthog, why not? Alright, looks like we can either go ahead or take a right. I think, I think we'll just take a right just because it's close. Ooh, Banshee flying by. Watch out, boy. Oh, wow, okay. He took it down midair. Nice. Wow, that gun is very loud in comparison to the rest of the game. I remember when I used to like try to shoot off that um, ramp, and it like never worked. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, there's two banshees in the air. Whoops! I just hit, oof! I just hit. Um, I just hit a couple of blind wolves. They're not very happy. Oh, it looks like they're actually attacking... Oh, sweet, they're attacking the Covenant. That's pretty cool. I like that. I can I can appreciate that. But they're going to attack me right after, I'm assuming. Yep. I'm, um... But dude, they're like eating the Brutes and Elites. I hear them like... Yeah, look at that. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Right. Yeah, I like doing that. Because I remember on Assault on the Control Room in SPV3, there's a, a huge chunk of these uh, blind wolves, and you, if you shoot a couple of them, they'll get mad and like turn against the Covenant. So that's pretty cool. Oof, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you guys. This is one of my least favorite areas <laughs> in um, in both Halo CE and SPV3. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I don't like it. Like I don't hate it, but it's like if I had to choose a least favorite area in this mission, it's this area. Simply because it's like you're just kind of cooped up in one area for a long period of time, and it's just kind of like, eh. Like it's fun to snipe, and you know, it's it's fun and all that, but it's like don't get me wrong, it's quite creative being, you know, hiding out in a rock slide, but. You know. And yes, warthogs can fit anywhere. Okay, no, I take that. <laughs> I lied, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have lied to my viewers, I apologize. Yeah. Give me an angle. 
There we go. It can fit almost anywhere. Like, I don't think they really intended the Warthog to be up in this area, but... Who, who, who said I can't? Hey, guys. What's poppin'? What if you get out of the way? Oh, he wants in. Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, we're just having fun on these rocks. Ooh, that's a sharp-looking rock. Oof! <laughs> Once again, my stupidity has, uh, has led me to some, uh... Some misadventures. Alrighty. Nice. Oh, oh, looks like, uh... Oh, okay. I really hope nobody died. Ah, come on. <laughs> no. Wow, I am about to die. Oof, better be careful. Oh, wow, okay, I don't like that. Get that out of here. I don't like that. I don't want to see that. There we go. Okay, let's... Let's, um... There we go. And throw a grenade. I always feel bad shooting the grunts. Like, they get so scared, <laughs> they flee and try to run away when you shoot their uh, shoot their team leader. <laughs> this is so sad. Can we hit 500 likes? Also, I love the gun goose in this. Gun goose, gun goose, gotta kill everyone. There we go. Gun Goose is like... It, it's literally just because of the grenades, but it's so overpowered. <laughs> like, it has such low health and, like, it's destroyed almost instantly, but... It does so much damage. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, I, I, I think I blew myself up with my own grenade and the camera just like flipped out. That's insane. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, my, my, uh, my own grenades are pretty dangerous to myself. I think that's been established. Look at all these brutes. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Alright, settle down, guys. Settle down. <laughs> As Shrek once said, Can't we just settle this over a pint? <laughs> I'm just thinking of Shrek right now. I'm just, uh... I am just, I am just the worst. <laughs> Perfect time to uh, check chat here. Ooh, um, what would be your favorite area then? 
on in this mission, uh, I think it's Alpha Base, that area with the, all the wraith tanks, and where I kept dying trying to hijack that uh, that wraith, that entire one. <laughs> I can't believe you would lie to me. I'm personally offended. Lol, Jk. <laughs> I apologize for lying to my viewers about how a warthog can fit through <laughs> fit through a, a stone. Well, a rock slide. Alright. We're gonna go through this freaking Canadian area. I don't know, this just reminds me of British Columbia. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command crew. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm just, I, I keep... I have a really bad habit of checking chat. <laughs> well, I think it's a good habit, but... Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna um, I'm actually gonna ask a question for the uh for the chat if uh if you're interested. If Halo Infinite uh has Prometheans, would you want them the Would you want them to be the uh new art style, aka Halo four and Halo five, or would you want them to be redesigned to be uh more akin to um the older Halo games? So basically, to reword it, if Halo, if Halo Infinite had Prometheans, would you want them new art style or older art style? That's that's my question. <laughs> and for the people who have no idea what I'm talking about regarding art style, um, basically, when Halo Four and Five came out, there there was a change in art style. And a change in art direction, but recently it's been coming back to uh, to classic Halo roots. Like some people like the new art style, and I'm one of the people who are kind of in between. Like I like both for their own reasons. Alrighty. Honestly, this is um, my second least favorite area in um, this mission, simply because it, it just kind of feels like a bit of a repeat of uh, the earlier areas, but just with like a mountain and more open. And I feel like this mission in general, uh, I'm going to be honest, this is like my least favorite mission in Halo CE and SPV3, simply because it just kind of drags along it drags for a little too long but that's just my opinion I feel like I don't know about you guys but I feel like this is just one of the longest missions both literally and and like mentally it's just a very long mission because you're just driving point A to point B to point C saving marines and doing the same objective just in slightly different places not that I hate the mission but yeah. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled. Before hey. The Welcome to the stream. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a plateau roughly 300 kilometers up spin. All right, Leathernecks, let's do it. All right. Yep. All right. All right. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> whoops. Let's get out of here. Let's go to a better mission. <laughs> no, honestly, I do like this mission, don't get me wrong. And SPV3 made it a lot better, in my opinion. Oof, here's a, here's one of, oh, I love, oh, I love this mission so much, you guys have no idea. 
Um, okay, so this is a new feature that they uh, have in SPV3 for some of the missions when you're like on the offense. Um, you get to choose a loadout. So that's <laughs> that's really fun. Um, I would go with Shoddy Snipes, but I'm going to let you guys choose. Um, which one should I choose? Should I choose Stealth, Shoddy Snipes, Grenadier, Marksman, or Specialist? It's up to you guys. Which, uh, which loadout should I choose? BR and SMG. Okay. I'm going to wait for maybe one more person to say and then I'll make I'll make my final decision. The big decision. Yeah, we got to vote for BR and SMG and Hmm. All right. I think I'll go with uh, with BR and SMG then. The enemy has captured Captain Keys and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers, the Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The core issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that varies troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit them, Marines! Go, go, go! The core ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the cover <coughs> without being spotted. <laughs> uh, I got a private message saying, um, what's battle rifle and SMG? Well, BR and SMG. I'll, yeah, I'll just, okay. Yeah, uh, somebody asked, oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the characters to finish talking. Alright, so yeah, um, somebody private messaged me asking what does BR and SMG stand for? It stands for Battle Rifle, which is the weapon that I'm holding right now, with the blue scope. And then uh, SMG stands for Sub Machine Gun, which is this weapon. It's just, it's just the name of the guns. Oh yeah, I forgot this freaking this guy has a grenade launcher. Oh yeah, dude. Alright. And it's totally not overpowered as all heck. You only get five of them, but still. Yeah. And the cool thing about these uh, loadouts is like they're they're quite different, so you can get like regular SMGs, silenced SMGs, all that. Jazz. I believe there's three different variants of the battle rifle. There's one with a green scope and one with a um, a green scope, red scope, blue scope, and they all have different abilities and such. And I died. <laughs> we'll we'll try that again. <laughs> we'll throw a grenade here. Shoot a grenade launcher there. Overshot a little bit. Let me try again. There we go. Well, this is a bug, and that's okay. A covenant is making a run for that stationary gun. Take him out. This is totally not a bug. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh. It's always great working with these guys, orbital drop shock troopers. Very, very fun. Stop. 
Motion tracker shows movement around the next bend. Is this? Don't get cocky now. Come on, keep it up. Mm -hmm. I wish this one was silenced, but oh well. Like, I wish the BR was silenced. Oop. Ow, okay. Remind me to never get in a fist fight with brutes again. So yeah, for people who are uh, new to Halo and are kind of unknown what's going on, basically our captain um, from the ship, from the battle that was at the start of the game, has been captured. So we're going to board, uh, board the enemy ship to go retrieve him, because he's been captured. And he's on this ship. Wow. That's a ship, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm fantastic. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, that is... This is the uh, silenced uh, BR. That'll really help. Now people won't like completely destroy me the second I fire a gun. Yay, I got both silenced weapons. That's very good. Sneaky boy. Alright. Yeah, sorry that I keep turning um, the uh, visor night vision on and off. It's just, it's just sometimes it's more helpful to have it on, and sometimes it's helpful to have it off. Oop. Okay. Oof. Um, I might actually take the Jackal Shield and switch it out for- oof. Ah, nah, I'll hang on to my SMG for now. Jackal shield is so useful though, because you can just rush enemy positions with the shield. It was a very quiet grenade. Oh, thank you. All right. There, it looks like there's like a bajillion million things on the radar, so I'm not really feeling it. Oh, wow. Looks like the uh, blind wolves are here. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Alright. Um. Hmm. Alright, we'll try that again. <laughs> Please stop firing guns. You're making you're making your friends realize we're attacking you. <laughs> Alright. I hope those blind wolves don't turn against us. But I do hope they turn against the enemy. Ow. I love how Corton is like, you have the left flank covered, and it's like, uh... Covered is a strong word, Cortana. <laughs> Cortana's a ve- I mean, covered is a very strong word, Cortana. Oh, I just shot the- uh, the blind wolves. Well, oh no, I didn't. The Covenant did, but look at that. Look at that. Look at those blind wolves eat those boys. I'm just gonna go hide over here and let the blind wolves do- do my job. And then- Alright. Ooh. Oh, who shot him? One of, one of my guys, no doubt. We're directly under the ship now. Alright, are we bad or what? Mother of God. I never thought I'd get this close to one of these things. How the hell are we going to get inside that monster? If we're gonna board that thing, we need a plan. Covenant use a gravity lift to move troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. 
surface. We need to ambush them at the grav lift's loading zone and use the lift to enter the ship. Right. So. What, what are you guys doing? You guys can handle that, yeah? So I got my active camo, I'm gonna go uh, behind enemy lines here. Somebody just died in that battle, but that's okay. Uh oh, Jackals. Jackals know what I'm doing. Jackals know what I'm up to. <laughs> the j jackals know. Oh no, not the Jackals. Jackals with their very good hearing and very good smell. Oh. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on over here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> uh oh. I've been revealed. <laughs> Alright. Whew. Oh, okay, that, now that's reinforcements, let me tell you. Is that a... Uh, yeah, that's right. That's a dr that's a drivable wraith. We're, we're driving a wraith, boys. We're getting in a wraith. We're gonna, we're gonna spawn camp, and we're gonna drive the wraith, assuming nobody else gets in it before I do. And, uh... I can't drive it. Weird. I remember dri being able to drive it. That's strange. Huh. Why would they tease us like that? You can't just place a wraith out in the open and expect me not to try to drive it. No, that's really weird, because I remember being able to drive it. What's up with that? Did they remove the ability because it was too powerful? I think they might have, because it, it, I remember when I first um, played this, it was like... You could just shoot this area, and they, they would keep coming, and you could just kill them, like, so easily. Alright, I'm gonna grab- oof, actually, oof, ugh. Such decisions. Because it's like, I can so- I can hang on to these silence weapons when I come onto the enemy ship. So then it's, like, easier not to get, like, caught and absolutely destroyed. When I first shoot my gun. It makes it slightly harder for me to be found. Or I could have some much better weapons. Oof. Glad I didn't blow up any of my own men. It gets a little, yeah. I'm kind of glad the this visor thing shows, um... Shows friendly people and enemies. Because, <laughs> uh, it can get a little bit crowded sometimes. Whew. Alright. Uh, hunters are coming up. And I'm not excited. I don't know if they're coming. Yeah, they're coming now. Music cue. There we go. Oh, jeez. Those are big boys. Look at my little man. Okay, those look like... Oh, wow. They're dead because I just chucked all my grenades at them. <laughs> That's... <laughs> hunters. Hunters, everybody. If I didn't have any grenades, that would have been a very difficult battle, but, uh, but I just chucked all my grenades at them immediately and they all just died. Oh my. I haven't read the chat in a while, my bad. Um... Hey, welcome, Spider Spider Wind Tops to the stream. Uh, am I still on a Halo ring? Yes. Uh, what is my favorite non-power weapon in Halo? Um, <sighs> battle rifle, probably. Battle rifle. <laughs> Halo sucks, PP like Henry. Brenna. Serif, <laughs> <Sir Riff>, hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it Syriv or is it Syriv? <laughs> no one told me Henry was gay. Uh, oh dear. Oof! My poor man. There's nothing that I can do. Oh, he's alive. Good. Look at my little invisible man. The only thing that sucks about the uh, this visor mode is it doesn't show invisible guys. In Halo 3 ODST it does, but uh, in this it doesn't. Which I mean is pretty balanced, so I, I think that's pretty fair. I love this gun, but I gotta save it. Yeah, the um, the entirety of Halo actually takes place on a Halo ring. I'm I'm just answering that for for people that asked. The entire uh, first th this game all takes place on the Halo ring. Oh, sounds like hunters coming. That music change, that sudden music change, sounds like some hunters are coming. Possibly, maybe, probably. I'm willing to bet, like, I don't know, something, that the hunters are going to come through that door in, like, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Get him off me. Jeez, man. Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna switch out this for this. There we go. <laughs> Watch out for my giant shield. Ooh, there we go. Alright. Oh. That sounds like an elite to punch. Jackal Shield is so useful. It's like an extra health bar, but just in front of you. Even though it blocks your vision. Hey! Oh, wow, those aren't hunters. Those are just a bunch of brutes. Look at my little man. Alright, this this calls for the, for the Jackal Shield, I think. If I could actually see where they are. Wow, okay, that he packs quite a punch. I'll give him that. Yeah, he packs quite a punch. I'll give him that. <laughs> Alright. Maybe maybe switch this uh, switch this jackal shield out for something else. <laughs> oh my god, that brute punch! <laughs> that brute punch is so powerful. All right, kaboom. Alright, honestly, this is how you do it. You just chuck all your grenades in one go. Hey, there we go. Oh, wow, he's still alive. Hello? He just survived, like, four grenades. Hello? Oh my gosh, this guy's a... Uh, uh, there we go. Yikes. He's a freaking tank and a half, let me tell you. Goodness. Alright, and now we go down here. Going down alien ship hallways because why not? Honestly, I like this mission. It's a, it's a good one. Oh wow, that's Jackals. Oof, that's a. Wh where did he come from? 
<laughs> where did that elite come from? Find out on next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Turn on auto aim, you need it. Should go on the voice. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing going on the voice. What? I'm gonna. <laughs> well, I suppose it would be a good thing, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Vocal artists and all that, yeah. Probably. Alrighty. <laughs> Turn on auto aim. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that. Turn on auto aim, you'll need it. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, brute shot. Um, I could use this, but I could use just a bunch of brute shots. That is, that is not a bad alternative. It's a healthy alternative to a balanced breakfast. Alright, cool. Okay, so the elite is down here, I'm willing to bet. Okay, so he's not here. Oh, I know, I know where he is. He's going to be to the left and then another left. So he's going to be around there through the wall. Like, see, there we go, to the left. I'm willing to bet that Elite is gonna come through to the to my left. Like like three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oof. I don't like that sound. Hello, is anyone there? Alright. Oh, wow. Get out of here. You, you startled me. Goodness. Ooh, Brute Plasma Rifle. I like you. I like you a lot. Possibly even a little too much. Can anyone love the Brute... The Brute Plasma Rifle too much? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> Rip me. Alright. I'm gonna hang on to this, actually, for precision. Wow, okay. Alright, buddy. I'm actually going to switch out my thing for health regen. Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Whoa! Grenade launcher reload. Nice. Oh, wait, actually, I'll take that back. Thank you. Ah, health regen, thank you! Oh, someone's out of batteries. My, uh,. My brute plasma rifle. Brute plasma pistol, yay! It fires so slow, that's my only problem. And it overheats like madman. Alright, I'm gonna call in my buddies, here we go. Come through the door, guys, come on. Come on, lads. Where ya at, fam? Oof! Nobody came. <laughs> but nobody came. Huh? 
Hi, how are ya? Hi, how are ya? Hi, how are ya? Ooh, is that invisibility? I will take that. Well, it's active camo, as it's called. Oh, oh, oh! Come on! <laughs> I'm invisible! How could you possibly see me? I still don't know quite where I am. Well, okay, no, he, he knows quite well where I am. <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. Okay, he, he knows. <laughs> Alright. Oof. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh my gosh, how many grenades does that grunt have? He just tossed two grenades. <laughs> where Where are these guys coming from? Okay, I, ne I need to take a- That is a zealot. 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 Nope, 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 You guys, if- Nope! Oh! No, 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 no. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on a second. No. <laughs> Just hold on. Wait, hold on. Give me- Give me a second. Hold on. We can talk about this. We can talk about this. So- We can talk- We can talk about this. We can- We can talk- We can talk about this. We can talk about this. We can, uh, oh, oh, fucking hell. If he, if he hit me once, that would have been it. Also, uh, yeah, that's right. He drops a Voids tier. Um, I have actually never used this in, in my SPV3 playthrough. I am genuinely serious. I've seen it, and I was like, wow, that's a cool gun. I wish I could use that, and then I didn't. It's just like a better plasma pistol. A very good plasma pistol that, uh, shoots a, uh, gravity thing. Just like the Halo 5 one, which is pretty rad. I'll hang on to this.